All right, we're back with Dave here at his house. This is part two of perhaps a series of videos. His sim in a box has arrived, so we're gonna do a setup video. Dave played at the University of Minnesota. You've won a state am here in Minnesota at Interlochen. So when we first talked about simulators, you kind of made the comment is, I don't play video game golf. Yep. And so we had you down at my house. How has your thought process evolved around actually using a simulator to practice? Yeah, well, I mean, I, the first time I came down to your place was really the first time I'd really ever been in the simulator. And, uh, you know, we did it on a, on a night that was snowing. It was, we got six or eight inches of snow. And so it was something in the winter time I hadn't touched a club in three or four months anyhow. And uh, it was kind of fun to, to go down and swing. And what I realized is how accurate the simulator was. And I, and I have not done anything for golf since college in the winters. I've got a place here now that I can set up something and, and want to use it to try to improve my game and uh, or at least try to keep my game yeah. where it's at and, and not deteriorate. Yeah, so he has ordered the sim in the box from Foresight Sports. That's the setup that I started with. What they do and they do it well is they give you everything batched together. And then from there, you can upgrade things as you feel you need to. I appreciate Dave letting us film this video and uh, we're going to do a little time lapse of it. So we're at phase two of Dave's setup. 
Why don't you go ahead and share with people what you didn't like about the prior setup and why this spot works better for the room that we're in. Thinking that it was just gonna be kind of a temporary setup. I had an open wall on the other side of the room there and uh, so I thought uh, that would be a good spot to put it. It was just like right when you walked inside the door, it was right there. We had this spot behind us and uh, all I had to do was move the lockers and it fit in there perfectly. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit more permanent now where I can, uh, in the summertime or whatever, when I'm doing stuff in the shop, I can just move the carpets up in there and, uh, and there won't be any setting up and taking down really. So. What are your ceilings in this uh, shed here? Uh, 20, 14 feet. 14, 14 feet. feet. Yeah. So not easy to mount it on the ceiling, but um, I'll, I'll throw a picture up here. He's mounted the projector up and we've been able to tilt it to fill the screen with his 4-3 aspect ratio. And I think it's gonna work really nice. So this setup, and, and since you're not in here, it's hard to tell, but it really works well. We got a big table over here. You got your other equipment that you have over there and you really could keep this up all the time. And I think for me, when I think about playing golf, I want as little friction between me not playing and playing. So you don't have to come out here and pull things out and hook these things up and then move this over here. You can just turn everything on and start playing. So this is the Sim in the Box. What has been your overall feeling of the products that you've gotten here? Yeah, fa fantastic value. Um, it's, it's not free, obviously, but uh, I mean, over time, I think it'll pay off. I've been out here a couple nights, uh, mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago, and spent a couple hours out here just on the range, actually, hitting balls, trying to figure out how far clubs go, and trying to work on a couple things with my swing. I'm sure we'll be back for, a, a, I guess, a third phase of this video after maybe right before spring. Yeah. Continue to see the process of Dave uh, and his simulator.